fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 27th of November 2024. I'm playing a supplementary game this evening. This is a game in my series of a Sudoku at bedtime. And this is going to be... I don't know what it is. Uh, Los Angeles Times hard level puzzle. I had to look and see what it was. I've forgotten. I transferred the numbers in. I've forgotten what I was doing. Okay, Los Angeles Times hard level game. Yeah, uh, sometimes it can be trickier than the expert level. Sometimes not. I'll be playing that in a moment. Um, sketch it, courtroom sketch artists. What do we think of their work? <laughs> Quite often uh, it looks kind of very odd. Um, I don't know why they, what they're limited to in their material, their media. I presume some kind of chalk or coloured pencils or something like that. But quite often we get sketches that are not pictorially accurate. In other words, they often don't look like the people uh, that we've seen on our um, screens and, you know, from photos and video. Um, and sometimes the artistry just doesn't seem to be that. Um, fantastic does it you know it doesn't really give give the flavor of what's going on but occasionally it can but anyway I say this because there's a hilarious picture of Rudy Giuliani I say hilarious it's it's that schadenfreude again schadenfreude uh, I think um, that he's possibly suffering a bit or you know it's at least at the very minimum annoying him he's probably not suffering uh, as they as the article in the Daily Beast said he's probably just living his living a good life uh, and um, the the women who he defamed are not getting their money actually they're only getting tiny bits of it um, anyway there's a there's a picture of him uh, with his finger pointing and shouting at the judge which is apparently what he did uh, I suppose the artist doesn't have much time to capture this and you know manage to get the flavor but it does seem to uh, sum up the flavor and there's another picture of uh, Giuliani with his arms folded looking angry or something but anyway so I'm rather uh, I rather enjoyed that the that particular artist rendition of uh, Rudy Giuliani because it it brought a little schadenfreude in of a rather horrific person that he's become all right game of Sudoku at bedtime LA Times hard level here we go start with two blocking across here across here and up there and bring the two down and two up here. We'll get two in that square. I see eight, three, eight, three like that. I figure out to look across here and see what we've got. Uh, we've got eight and three, but they're, this time they're reversed. Uh, so we've got eight and three somewhere down there. Obviously the eight's there and the three's there. Um, do we have anything else? Sevens, maybe? Not sure. Well, we do have seven down here, down here, and across there anyway. So we can get seven here and there, blocking across with a seven down. Missing digits uh, in this column are four, five, and nine. We've got five and nine together, so that's going to be our four. Four blocking down and across here means we get four in that square. Uh, and this five blocking this square means that's the five and that's the nine then. one blocking up here and one across there there's a one seven blocks oh, let, no sorry let's do it like this. seven blocks this square seven blocks this square so in the top row there's our seven Seven blocks down here, seven blocks up here, seven blocks across there. But now we also know that seven is limited to either this square or this square, blocking across. So we know that seven has to go there. Th 
three blocks down here, we'll get a three in that square. Uh, oh, no. Okay, we've got two blocking this square, two blocking this square. So that means two has to be limited to one of these squares over here, right? And now we've got two blocking across here and two down here. So we know that two is either here or here, meaning that is no longer possible as a two. So two has to go in that square there. I think we'll um, go around the clock and see what we can find. Four across here, across there, and four down there. Five this way and this way. I believe we are looking for one, two, six, and eight in this column. One, two, six, eight. The four numbers are missing. Don't see a one, don't see a two, don't see a six, don't see an eight. One, two, eight, I do see here. That's got to be a six then. A six blocking across here, put six into that square. Six across this way, get six up there. Missing digit over here is a nine, I believe. <coughs> Excuse me.
don't have any completed digits yet. That's useful. Six across there and six down here. Put six into one of these two squares, blocking back in this direction. Six back there. That has to be a six then. Nine up here, nine down there. There's a nine. Nine across here gives me nine in this square. The last number at this row is five. Five blocking up here and up here will give us five in that square. Nine is one of our missing digits here. Nine blocking up there puts the nine here. Nine blocks across here. There is a nine. The last number here is four. And the last number here is seven. Seven blocking down gives us seven in this square, five in this square, <coughs> five across here and five up there puts five into that square there. Five up and five across means that's a five. The last number for this row, uh, what are you? F nope, three I think. Okay, three down here, down here and across there gives me three in that square there. Right, five and seven are both finished. Two blocks across here, that gives me a two in that square and a one in this square. One down here and one across there means that's digit one. One up, one up here, one up there, there's our one. Eight blocks, sorry, eight blocks this square, so that gives me an eight here. The last number to place there is four. One more number to get at the bottom here. Um, eight, is it? I think it is. <clears throat> Missing numbers here and here are two and six. Not sure about those just yet. So let's have a look over here. We've got three numbers missing for this row. We're looking for one, we're looking for four, we're looking for nine. One, four, nine. We've got four down, four up there. That puts four into that square. We've got one down here. There's the one, there's the nine. Now we've got nine down here and down here and across there and there. So we get nine in that square. One more digit. Oh, no, there's not. <laughs> Tell a lie. Forget that. Let's see what we're looking for here. We're looking for three, six, eight. Three, six, eight, one in each column. That's no good. <clears throat> Let's just click on the digits that we still need. We still need to get one. We've got one down here, one down here, one across there. We don't need any more digit ones. We still need twos. We've got two down here. Actually, we didn't need that one. We just got two across. I'm wrong. Uh, uh, what I should say is we've got two blocking this square, two blocking this square. So in this column, there's our two. Two across here gives us two down there. We don't need any more of those. Three. Can we get our three? No. Uh, what's missing from here? Six. Six blocking across here gives us six there. And we need a six in this row. Six up, six down. There goes a six. One more digit to fill in here. That is a three. And uh, we also have three blocking down here. So that's the last three. Now we've just got digit eight to finish the game. And that's it for our Wednesday Sudoku puzzles. Um, I don't have any work to do tomorrow, so uh, I can relax and play a game or three of Sudoku with you tomorrow, I suspect. Uh, unless something 
ha miraculous happens and I get whisked off to the beach or something like that, which is very unlikely. <laughs> anyway, take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.